Whitetail Edge is brought to you by Black Widow Deer Lures, Redneck Blinds, Rocky, Antler King, Rogue Bowstrings, I got a call last year from Mark Brubaker and Jared Renegar from the One Wish Foundation. And they were approaching me about bringing a young man here to Ohio to hunt with us. Um, and his name is Andrew Schlegel. And, you know, of course, I wanted to make whatever I could happen, happen. So October 9th rolls around. We're taking Andrew to the Redneck Blind on a food plot that we've got set up and I'd planted some clover in this food plot earlier in the spring. Uh, this food plot was a little more shaded, so I used the Game Changer Clover by Antler King because it can handle a little more shade. That's a very important thing here. And not only that, I wanted to get this deer good and close because we needed to get Andrew to be able to make a good shot with a crossbow on this deer. And so we were putting some attractant fuel and some corn out in this plot right in front of the blind to try to get him to get a good broadside shot. So why does Whitetail Edge use Black Widow deer lures? It's 100% pure whitetail deer urines. It's never brown or broken down. Black Widow deer lures are always fresh, collected and bottled within 24 hours of collection to guarantee freshness. So why should you use Black Widow deer lures? Because it works. Visit www.blackwidowdeerlures.com. The wind's gonna be just a little bit touchy, but for this spot, but I think we'll I think we'll be alright. Once we got Andrew into the blind and settled in, you know, his mom's with us, Javen's filming, I'm in the blind, Andrew's sitting beside me. We got him comfortable sitting in the chairs. You know, we've got his walker set to the side, and now it's just a waiting game. And, you know, sitting in that blind with this young man, you know, you start to learn a lot of things about a guy. And he's a pretty comical fella. He's a very loving young man and a little bit impatient because he kept asking, where's the buck? Where's the buck? Where's the buck? And me and Javen are just laughing, you know. But I'll be honest with you, I was starting to get a little bit nervous because as we're sitting there, the deer just were not moving like I had expected them to move on this plot. They had been moving great on my cameras. I'd been getting lots of pictures of them. And I was thinking, man, I don't know what's going on here. This is getting me a little racked up. As the night wore on and the evening got a little later, deer finally started to move. And, you know, as the first deer come into the plot, I look over at Andrew and I can just see he's getting excited, you know. And he had an opportunity on a smaller, you know, even a smaller like spike buck or four corn buck, I believe. And I was like, you want to shoot that deer, Andrew? And he's like, no, I want to wait for a bigger one. You know, which I was totally fine with. It didn't matter to me what deer walked in. I didn't care. If Andrew wanted to shoot it, we were going to let him shoot it. Well, finally, a little bigger deer comes into the plot that gets Andrew's goat. And he's like, I want to shoot that deer. And so as that deer comes in, he starts coming, you know, he's feeding through the plot, looking at the other deer, and then he comes over there, starts eating on that bait right in front of us. And I just, you know, I'm trying to tell him, coach him a little bit, wait for the deer to turn sideways. I can tell he's a little bit nervous. We get the, you know, the crossbow up there and uh, it's just a waiting game.
you smoked it, man. You absolutely smoked it. Good job. Pretty big deal here for Andrew, huh? Yeah. With the One Wish Foundation being so generous and getting you your wish. Yeah. And I'm just glad we could help you. Yeah. You did such a good job. I'm so proud of you. Tell you what, you're as good a buck killer as I ever seen. Deer only go 75 yards from the redneck blind we were sitting in. Thanks for hunting with me. No, Bob. I loved it. Stay tuned for episode four. You're gonna see me jump in a redneck ghillie blind and harvest a really awesome early season Ohio buck.